The electrodes are made of aluminum and copper, and the graphene and the electrolyte are baked onto the electrodes. So in other words, I've taken and <coughs> covered the aluminum with the graphene, I bake it on, and then I put the electrolyte on top of that, and I bake that on there. <coughs> Same uh, is for the copper. Now the electrolyte, I've mixed together, I've taken um, Elmer's glue, PVA, and put it in uh, water, basically mixed it up. So these are the percentages right here. You've got like a 68, 20. You could, you know, vary that a little bit. Then I take titanium dioxide, uh, <coughs> excuse me, titanium dioxide, and about 5% of that, and 7% uh, uh, sodium hydroxide. <coughs> but you've got to put the titanium dioxide in first and mix that up really good. Then you drop, you mix up the sodium hydroxide in some water and then you drop that in little bit by little bit and um, that way it keeps the PVA from co uh, coagulating. Alright, this More is the reference go. voltage on the storage unit, the graphene storage unit. Um, it looks like it's 1.09 volts. Uh, it'll charge back up to that right there. Um, if I plug in my little light which basically there, there's no charge on it right now it's been drained down it's at its reference voltage and you can see the little LED this has got a um, uh, a jewel thief in it and um, you'll see the light come on okay that's with basically the the charge that just naturally occurs in it and what I'm going to do now is charge it up. Uh, I'll charge it up for 10 seconds, then we'll run a stopwatch on it, and you'll see uh, how long this thing goes. Um, okay, I'll be right charge back. Charge it up with a 15 volt uh, little power supply, and I'm going to charge it for 10 seconds 1001, 1002. 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006, 1,007, 1,008, 1,009, 1,010. And we're up here at this voltage. And it's dropping down to its reference voltage. And I'm going to start the timer on here. I'm going to plug up the light and we'll start the timer. Alright, now, so we'll let this run and you'll be able to see the light dim somewhere around uh, 6, uh, 0.6 volts um, let me see if I can fix this timer. Hope you can see it better. That's not working too well. Sorry about that.
I moved the uh, storage unit. <laughs> Tried to get it in the picture, but I couldn't. I noticed it uh, affected it. I didn't really want to affect the voltage at that time. can you say props or props they don't prop very good either props are supposed to prop but they don't sometimes You can start to see the light, the LED light dim as it reaches, it gets down close to 6, uh, 0 0.6 volts. The light still, the LED is still working. There, it's starting to blink out. And it's still working. I guess a 10 second charge. Uh, <coughs> works fairly decent I have a very bright light on on the side over here for this video and I'm covering part of it right now so you can see the, the LED and it looks like at uh, 0.588 volts uh, the LED is still lit that's due in part basically because of the uh, jewel thief but we are over five minutes if you'll notice it's five and a half minutes I want to show you something that's real curious right here. This is neat. I'm going to watch the voltage. I'm going to disconnect the uh, light and the voltage will try to run back up. <clears throat> so we'll say five and a half minutes uh, on a 10 second charge that's not too bad all right we're back up to one volt now all right watch this watch the light come back on i'm going to i'm going to uh, attach the ground lead now and it's just basically it's back on and we're back down i disconnect it and we jump back up to one volt connect it back up the light comes back on
Anyway, I thought that was quite curious, and uh, 